Here we go. Yo, what is up? It's Frank Boom. And today we are going to be going through IDW's latest artist edition. None other than the Micronauts. As with all IDW artist editions, these are one for one, meaning that they are like having the originals right in front of you. Um, I was able to pick this up yesterday from my local retailer. I uh, want to thank him. Uh, I have not opened this yet. And uh, this first look for you uh, is also my first look. Look at that. Look at the spine on that bad boy. Michael Golden's Micronauts Artist Edition. Back cover is looking pretty awesome. Let's um, open her up. like Christmas. The micronauts are coming. From Mantlo and Golden. Got all the information about IDW and all the execs over there and at Hasbro. This. I'm gonna take this off of the the stand. Hopefully, uh, my shadows aren't too crazy in here. Oh my god! Yeah. The thing that I always dug about the Micronauts is um, Golden's sense of scale managed to uh, pull off what is kind of a fantastical idea uh, in a very believable way. You got the team, Bill Mantlo, Michael Golden, Joe Rubenstein, Alan Milgram being the editor, uh, Jim Shooter as editor-in-chief. A lot of times you see Al Milgram um, as the ninker. Uh, this one's not from uh, the original and you can tell. I love taking a look at this stuff because you can see uh, all of the notes. Zip tone. The old school zip that you would cut out with an X-Acto knife and burnish it down. Look at that. Just this simple, simple skating scene is pretty damn amazing. As always, IDW pulls off uh, great reproduction on these things. Um, I think Scott Dunbeer did an excellent job as always. Makes you wonder who has uh, some of these originals though, like this this cover here for number seven. Uh, not scan from the original art. That's okay. Got these great openers here. Look at this stuff. Incredible. Man thing. What's crazy about the Micronauts uh, for me is that uh, I was not a first gen Micronaut guy. I was pretty young when uh, these first came out and I sought these after uh, I had discovered Michael Golden's work on other stuff like G.I. Joe and 
course, Avengers Annual and Doctor Strange, uh, and some of his work on Batman. And of course, the Nom. Look at this stuff. Color. Color, 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 color. I didn't realize this was going to be in there. This is gorgeous. I missed the page. Missed the page. Look at that. Awesome stuff. Yeah, IDW, man. Their uh, artist editions, as you can see, I have quite a few. Uh, quite a few of those bad boys. These things are great. It's like having a, um, a mini museum in your own home. Well, that's interesting. I had no idea. I, I wonder if these aren't overlays. Or maybe they are. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Unless it's a separate sheet of paper or if it was done in red. And uh, I don't know how they would grab that in the old days. But maybe someone knows. Someone in comments should mention it. Ah! Look at this. Yeah, I wasn't quite prepared for how awesome this is. Um, definitely gonna have to sit with this for <laughs> a couple of hours, I believe. I think, I mean, shoot, comics don't look like this. Not that many of them do anymore. I'll tell you that much. Look at this stuff. You know, a lot of people say Golden didn't really have uh, any influences or if you read articles about him uh, you would hear that oh he had no influences but every time I look at his stuff I see two people especially his old stuff I see uh, I see Bernie Wrightson and I see Jack Kirby uh, those are the ones I see the most in here uh, oh yeah look at this famous famous cover here Unbelievable stuff. The thing I like the most about Michael Golden stuff, um, the old stuff, even even the, um, the mid career and the newer stuff, is he has a uh, a way of cartooning, but using uh, realistic lighting, realistic uh, physics, but he bends things uh, and he warps them in such a way that they they look uh, completely believable, but also like they're moving. Look at all this energy, holy crap. That was the first thing I noticed about his, uh, his G.I. Joe uh, when I was a kid, is those vehicles, he put a little bit of a bend to them and uh, they were just so cool looking. Like I said, they look like they were moving. level of detail and clarity in this stuff that is pretty unparalleled you know I see guys like Art Adams pull it off but uh, even some of my favorites like McFarlane and Stephen Platt and uh, Jeff Darrow their their level of detail sometimes gets a little cluttery uh, and you have to really go through it with a fine-tooth comb you don't see that problem with golden at all everything uh, is there a lot of detail very readable, uh, very clear, solid storytelling. I mean, it's no wonder he's revered as uh, one of the all-time best. I know he defined uh, the look for a lot of people. He's uh, the blueprint for a lot of people's work. Uh, certainly my own. I try to take as much from him as I can. And uh, there's so much... <laughs> So much to learn. The more you look at it, the more you realize you don't know uh, even a fraction of percent what this guy knows. One of the all-time greats. Um, I said to him at Terrificon last year, I said, uh, what's it like? <laughs> I 
I said, what's it like to be the greatest uh, living comic book artist? And uh, he said, uh, you better uh, go ask that that man over there. And he was pointing over at Neil Adams. Uh, Neil is pretty damn great too. Uh, look at this. Yeah, Neil is great. Neil is uh, tops. I mean, you don't have John Byrne without Neil, you know? Uh, but man, I could look at both of them for a long time. But uh, man, I would just, given the choice, I would choose to draw like Golden, uh, you know, to have his ability. But the speed of Neil. <laughs> How about that? Uh, the skill of Golden and the speed of Neil. Uh, or even more so, the, the speed of Burn. That guy. Holy crud. So many legends, you know. Six pages a day. You ask him uh, in interviews. He says four. Sometimes I would hear two. Uh, either way, the guy's incredibly fast. Look at that. Super effective use of the zip. Appreciate you guys dealing with my uh, meandering narration during this. Uh, I'm just kind of speechless looking at uh, just how great, how great this is. Thank you, IDW. Thank you, uh, Scott Dunbeer. Thank you, Hasbro. Thank you, Kyle, over there at Galactic Quest for picking this up for me and getting it to me on day one. Really looking forward to uh, the Jim Lee one that's coming out. And then I've got a couple more coming to me in the mail. I've got the uh, John Byrne Marvel one. The Buscema Surfer. Look at that. And the Miller Daredevil Archive. Which I can't wait. We're nearing the end. I can feel it. I can feel it. Look at this. Look at these effects. Maybe one of these days I'll do a more in-depth uh, review of this. This is more of a uh, of a flip through. Get a bit of a biography of Golden there in the back. Uh, you want to check out that? Hopefully this is. Uh, you pause it out. Take a look. Anyway, thank you for uh, thank you for joining me on this quick, very quick look at the Michael Golden Artist Edition from IDW. I've been your host, Frega Boom. See you soon. Frega!